Aatrox, but you have to be able to play it at yep. an incredibly high level. He's going to lock it in. He becomes that second threat, something that is very difficult to ignore. If you try to engage past the Aurelia onto... He's managed to walk around all the vision that Nogari got on this top end, so we'll have to see if he can make that one work. Ooh, root into stun, a lot of damage they're on a missing. He's going to be at 200 HP. Down to 120, actually, and Maokai is around, but is it dive balls? the question? He's chugging potions right now. And as they are now under the turret, looks like they don't feel safe to do this one. Level 3, Leona could tower dive. A flash. Panagari getting stunned up now instead. Jumps the minions, gets out of the way. Kanavi will not be able to complete that kill. The dive continues on. The pull back. Hope he is burning, but he will not oh! die. The sapling will not catch him either. The bot lane stays alive. The flash follow. First blood is in the top. Away, yep. Marking the Vi. You know, as you say, that's all you really need to do here is just keep this Vi away from your lanes. Allow them to just continue extending the advantages they've already built. I mean, it's two and a half plates are already gone. The third one is pretty close to falling. They're not going to be able to get it on this wave, but... It's a little one. Anchor's going to hit the turret. I'm sorry, a, a, a bit of uh, terrain and yeah, Knocking him around. He's not a tanky Nautilus missing. Oh, pulls him back into the tower, though. That could kill, and Kellen will die, but already to trade it back. You got going to try to live. Has a flash over the wall, and Malka may not be done. They're going to trade ulties. Ophelios does not quite have the kill, but Showmaker may get it to happen instead. Going to dive in. Two HP. There's one, and Yagawa is left alone. Looking for the second. He's going to try to find the damage. Showmaker Maker flashing back out to safety. Dunk, dunk, oh. the kill. And it's 4 3 down one. It's a disaster. An easy dive. Volcanion pretty low. Can't help much. Showmaker's coming though. And at the same time, it's first turret's solo gold for Dogdom, who's already particular of damage. That could maybe be enough to defeat the Ophelios, but it is going to be so tough with the CC from Leona, from the Maokai, offering great disengage as well, thanks to things like that ultimate that Maokai has. And I mean, the reality is they have, they have two losing lanes, very oh, heavily losing. And hope is Q. He's not a this anymore, though, so the cleanse gets a bit of space, but the flash follow! They just know they can make it happen! Gale Force is in! And it doesn't matter, Hope, what you try to do, they're chasing you down anyway. Uh, this is looking like just absolutely toast. Dumb one are just running over JDG, making it look easy. Canyon in trouble, potentially. Ulti means the Q smites for some healing. Unfortunately, though, it's Nautilus taking the kill away. Kellen a bit low, but he's got enough health. He's got a W. Here come reinforcements, Kanavi. Could take the Q to the right and get behind them. Might build enough space. He's still got about eight seconds. They go for the support right away, trying to find the opening to kill off Nautilus. Stopwatch buys time. They gotta get on a dock thumb, hitting what he can. Red, white, and he's gonna try to win the fight. You go, finally kills him. Just gets away. Showmaker can't get it just yet. Lethal damage not yet found. But here comes Aurelia for more. Finds the ulti. Hope trying to free hit Panagari. Knocks on the support. And Hope, he has ulted. Maybe to his own demise, he finds Showmaker. Decides to clone. They can see him all coming in. There's not an engage to be had. He is safely on the back side. Not a concern at all. It's going to be Harold now oh, the attempt oh. here. Spawned early. Hope Oats can't dodge a single thing. Showmaker knocks him down nearly a solo. And guess what? This team fight not going to go your way either. Leona got a hand. The easy bullseye on the ulti. A stun not going to mean a whole lot. Missing is low, but not quite dead. Aatrox wants to make it happen. Cannot quite get Nuggery. Finally a kill on the board, but it's already a double for Doc Thumb. And he's going to go for a whole lot more here. Kellen is low. Finds his stun. Tries to run away. One, another on the board. Now we're 369, but now left alone. Two versus three. You have to believe the ulti's not going to be enough. Q Flash almost finds it. His health bar is going to run down the same way. And Yagawa is running out, but Shoemaker knocks him down. That is an ace for two. Dom on Jidikari. If Doc Thumb hadn't stepped forward, there's a chance Q3 Flash actually heals enough and does enough damage. He can he can actually 1v5 that fight, but definitely in the sweet spot. Good sidestepping there. Dragon could be claimed now by Canyon. One to one of the Drake score. Ulti come across from the stolen Maokai ultimate. Is it enough? On the Kellen is not your primary target. Canyon gonna disengage pretty well against the melee bash brother. 369 now stuck in the team fight. Tries to dash away, but there's so much damage on him. Leona builds some space. 369 still the thing away! And they find the time! Kellen could be next. Still, 369 will not be killed. Eight trucks in the bottom river! The LPL makes it happen again! How do they do it? JDG bring it back in the river! 369 looks like he's done for! Oh. But it's not enough! They'll find Canyon May!
space for Yagao. It made space for Hope. These yep. carries who are so far behind were bought the time they needed to try to get something done. I mean, look at the gold yeah. between so slight leads that they can get an advantage in a team fight has come through for them once more. And the fact that they managed to get onto your Duke Navi is going to use this ultimate. That is going to be so crucial. And why Dom want to try to spot him? Double stop watch is the big thing. Double stop watch for the carries. They've got the front line here. Can he get a flash away? And an ulti for Leona. The Root actually catches a Felios, which means they might dive in for it. Gale Force is out, and they're gonna catch Canyon. That's the one for nothing. Damwon were not ready to fight. JDG were, and they get that first pick. Kellen gonna be next. They're gonna find the kill on the Leona missing. Gets the back line. Oh! Here comes the dive. Hope goes for more, but Hope has to flash back out. Yagao gets the third kill. Felio snipes Hope at the end. You're not really looking to fight for the Drake. There's no smite. It's gonna be a guarantee for Canyon. He'll get it, but will there be a team fight? Diving on in his Nuggery, but he's so low on health. He's squishy as a champion. Divine Sunder, I believe, not yet done. Missing front lines. He has all the these still available. He's gonna hit Kellen with it. Doesn't mean a ton, but it still means Canyon goes down. Hope drops, stuck them. Burns a stop, but has nowhere to go. Three, six, nine, hits Q3, and he's on for a double kill. Doubles into six. Looking for the next one. That's gonna be a triple hit to nine, and it means Baron play. JDG will not be denied the first seed. The first seed from the LPL wants to move on and they will do it in style. 369. There was people questioning if he was the best top of the tournament. Well, he's down looking like it now. That's going to be a solo kill. Excuse me, sneezing at the wrong time. Showmaker coming in from behind right here. Bursting out hope and you got oh! is solo killed by Showmaker. Ew. Really, it feels like for the first time, we are getting to see what peak 369 looks like from the LPL. And it is a beautiful thing to watch on the world. Five missing, might need to recall for health. He can't really team fight, and it is burning fast to an Aphelios. The team fight will start soon. Shoemaker on the wings, finds a bit of damage here. Vi rooted in place, she can flash in the v. V. Look for the smite, claimed by Canyon. Here goes a team fight, and no one is on Aphelios. Shigao finally gets their hope over the wall. Flashes, looks for the auto, shuts him down, and the rest of the team fight goes to three, six, nine. Canyon's pushed out. How many Barons can they save? A stopwatch for Yagao, still stuck in 1v2. The chain comes out early for Showmaker. He would have died, but the mid from Tom on Miss. Well, for Dog Tom, right? Got the Bloodthirster for the shield, got the Maul for the shield. He's gone. Oh, hang on. Anchor's gonna land, they're gonna chain combo, and Showmaker goes down. Missing gets the critical pick. I mean, such a uh, brilliant opportunity there for JDG. They can start to go through. Yago steals away Kellen's ult, but I don't think they're going to go. They just want to try and crack open these terrors, push down one back in the face with 30 seconds until the dragon. There's decent wave clear. It's 40 seconds. Keep in mind, though, it's dragon and the baron. They find them. They go. They hit him. Duck down. Gale Force is out. And here goes Hope. But Hope can't kill him. The man stays alive in front of the tower's nuggery. Clears the wave. Ults tries to stay alive. Flash to safety. Hook's going to land again. Oh, missing. Just does it! It's three in a row! There's four! There's five! And that top lane A truck has played a critical role in this entire game! 10, 1, and 11! He was a mighty nine!